Okay, so now let's do a couple practice problems where we're going to solve um, some water potential problems and see it in action. Okay, so this right here is a picture of the AP Bio equation sheet. You'll get the exact same equation sheet on the AP exam. Um, and so for this first set of problems, we're just going to look at the top. So it tells you right here water potential, which is the pressure potential plus the solute potential, and then it very helpfully tells you that the water potential will be equal to the solute potential of a solution in an open container, because this is the important part, the pressure potential of the solution in an open container is zero. In other words, like that beaker of pure water or whatever, that beaker of solution sitting on the bench top, its pressure potential is zero. Cool. Okay, so when you're solving these problems, the very first thing you want to do is see if the problem gives you the information you need to define the pressure potential and the solute potential. So remember, unless the problem says otherwise, because of this statement right here, you can assume that that pressure potential is going to equal zero. And then if needed, you can solve for the solute potential losing this formula. We'll talk about how to do that in the next video. And then you just plug and check. You just plug in the pressure potential and the solute potential and solve for the water potential. And then you will use that information to interpret your results, remembering that water is always going to move to the more negative water potential. So like the lower number, the lesser number on a number line. Okay, let's do some quick practice problems. Okay, so first one. Um, if a plant cell's pressure potential equals 2 bars and its solute potential is negative 3.5 bars, what is the resulting water potential? This seems pretty straightforward, right? Okay, let's do it. Um, so let's start by defining our terms. So um, this one's easy. It's given us pressure potential and solute potential, so we just have to plug it into the formula. So water potential is going to be the pressure potential plus solute potential, so that's going to be 2 plus negative 3.5. So our answer is going to be negative 1.5 bars. If only all math was that easy, right? We can handle that. What decimal point better? There we go. Okay, let's do a trickier one. A beaker of sugar water has a solute potential of negative four bars. What is its water potential? Okay, so let's start by defining our terms. So we've got our water potential formula. Okay, it told us that solute potential is negative four, but what's pressure potential? It didn't tell us, right? Well, if it doesn't tell us, we can assume it's zero, right? So this is possibly even easier than the last one. So it's just going to be zero plus negative four. So the solute potential is going to be negative four bars. Okay, not so bad, right? Let's do one more. The plant cell in question number one is placed in the beaker from question number two. Oops, that should say from. <laughs> in which direction will the net flow of water be? Ooh, okay, so now we're gonna have to apply that knowledge. So when you do these questions, anytime you do any osmosis questions, I always recommend you draw a picture. And know it sometimes you're like, I don't need to draw a picture. Just draw the picture, it'll take two seconds, and then you'll be organized and you'll never make a silly head mistake. So let's draw a little picture. Here's my beaker. Wonderful, and here's my cell. Okay, so going back, uh, the water potential in the beaker was negative 4. So this was negative 4. And the water potential in the cell was negative 1.5. 1 .5. Okay, and which way is water going to flow? Think about it for a second. So it's going to go to the more negative number, right? The more negative number. So which way is it going to go? It's going to leave the cell. Water is going to go from the cell into the beaker. It's going to leave. 
So the direction of water flow, we can say it's going to be water will leave the cell. So the cell would lose weight. Okay, and there you go. That's our first round of practice with some of these water potential problems. So now go ahead and do some of the practice problems on your own.